Good day, and welcome back to the channel. We love to cover all things John Deere and farming here at Locust Motor Works, and today we're going to be going over the John Deere 630. So if you like old tractors or anything John Deere, go ahead and hit subscribe, because you're going to like what you'll see. Anyways, let's hop into this video. The 630 was a row crop John Deere tractor produced from 1958 to 1960 in Waterloo, Iowa. Now there was a secondary plant that's often disputed, but we'll get into that later in the video. The Model 630 follows up the 620, bringing quite a few changes that Deere would like and use in the future. The common row crop tractors of the 530, 630, and 730 would be the last of the John Deere two cylinders, and this would finish up a long and impressive run. Being the last, they learned a lot over the years, and you can see a lot of the features that were improved, and we're gonna start off with the engine. The 630 was offered in three different variants the LP gas, the all fuel, and the two cylinder gasoline, the most popular which was the gasoline. This was a 302.9 cubic inch engine, which had a five and a half inch bore and six and three eighths inch stroke. This would be the same style engine that was used in the John Deere 620. The model 630 would leave the Nebraska test facility claiming 44 horsepower at the draw bar and 48 at the PTO and many farmers across America would consider this a four bottom plow tractor. Now John Deere would offer your standard variants for a row crop tractor, including a 630 standard, a 630 high crop, and then the normal row crop. A variant that was cut from the 620 to the 630 was the 620 orchard. They did not go on to make a 630 orchard as the demand wasn't there. And that brings us to my favorite part of the video, going over what's going to be the most rare variant of this tractor. And we actually got a tie on this one. It's the 630 High Crop LP and the 630 High Crop All Fuel, with only three being made of each. The transmission that was featured on the 630 was very similar to the 620, with a top speed of 11.5 miles an hour in 6 gear, with a reverse speed of 3 miles an hour. When we look at cosmetics and compare it to the 620 on this tractor is where we really start to see differences. The Model 630 would feature a completely remodeled dash along with better gauges and a brand new steering column. This would be the first time John Deere wouldn't run a straight steering shaft from the steering pedestal up front all the way back. Now in the late 50s and early 60s, power steering was still an option and John Deere would offer that on the 630 but would still also offer a manual steering option. The 630 would feature your manual, classic, two-cylinder drum brakes. The biggest cosmetic change you'd see is how it was painted and how the tin was shaped. They'd round the nose cone on the 630 a little more compared to the 620. This would give it a lot more modern design and a sleek look, with the yellow continuing from the back to the front with no green interruptions. The 630 is also the first time you'd see the option for the modern style fenders that look a lot like the ones you see on 30 and 40 20s. The 630s would feature a Category 2 3-point as an option from the factory. John Deere would also switch up the muffler on this tractor, opting for a quieter option than the same one that was used on the 60s and 620s. Now in the couple years of production, John Deere pumped out 17,317 of these John Deere 630s. And as I was talking about before, the secondary plant that was used was in Monterey, Mexico. Now this would be the first time John Deere would use a separate assembly plant for a row crop tractor. And most of these tractors that were built in Mexico were sent to either Argentina or out of the country. So why do collectors like this tractor so much? Well, you can call it really the big brother of the John Deere Model A, as each tractor before it had replaced the one in front of it, with the 60 replacing the A, the 620 replacing the 60, and the Model 630 finishing off this medium-sized row crop tractor run for Deere in 1960. John Deere would go on to release the new generation, going to four and six cylinder inline engines, but that would not overshadow the John Deere 630 and the impact the two cylinder John Deere's had across America. Anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching this short little video about the John Deere Model 630. We'll catch you in the next video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day. Thanks again for watching.